Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video where I try to make technology as easy as possible to understand. We are in Adobe Illustrator today and I am going to be showing you one of the many ways that you can trace an image within Adobe Illustrator. Again, this technique will work with most images, but there will be specific images that you may only can use the pen tool. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be tracing an image with the blob brush tool. Okay, so as you see here, I have an image of a turtle, which is right here, and I have already traced it with the blob brush down here on the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to be showing you how to use this technique to really get a good trace of an image, whether if you sketched it or if you pulled it off the internet or you're trying to make a different design of a previous image. So let's go ahead and dive into this and see how we do it. So I have another page here opened up with the turtle itself on the page. What I want to do first is I want to go over to my toolbar and I want to select my blob brush tool. The shortcut key for this is shift B if you want to, you know, speed things up a little bit. If not, just click on the blob brush now. Now, I will tell you a few things about the blob brush to make your life easier. Again, as with any tool within Illustrator and Photoshop, whatever it may be, your stroke and fill color will be in the top left-hand corner here. So this will be my stroke and this will be my feel. Normally, well not normally, all the time when you're tracing an object, you want your fill color to be non-existent. So what you want to do is click on the arrow here next to the fill color option and change that to none. It is this white box with a red line marking through it. Make sure your fill color is set to none. Now, as you see here, I have a nice blob brush here that I can paint strokes as I please, but as you see, it may be a little too thick or too thin. So a quick way of changing the brush size will be your bracket keys. So if I click on the left bracket key, it will decrease the size of my blob brush. If I hit the right bracket key, then it will increase the size of my blob brush. That again is just a simple way of decreasing and increasing the size as you're tracing because there may be certain lines that need to be thin as well as others that need to be a little thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and set my brush size to a nice, i say right about there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undo those lines that I have drawn out there. And then I'm going to go ahead and zoom into my image. Always zoom into your image as you know, far as you need to, to make sure that you're going to hit the lines exactly as you want. Now, again, as I'm recording this, this may be a rough sketch, but you're going to get the basic principles behind tracing an object with the blob brush tool within Illustrator. So, the first thing you want to do when using the blob brush tool is go ahead and select a starting point. So I'm going to go ahead and start with his head. So I'm going to click here and you're going to need to hold down as you're painting. Okay. So as you see here, I'm forming a nice line over the turtle's head. And as you see, when you draw with the blob brush tool, if your hand shakes just a little bit, Illustrator automatically kind of cleans it up for you. So it's not going to do all the work for you, but if you are a little shaky at times, it will go ahead and remedy that for you. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that now. Now let's say I'm going right here and I mess up. I go down a little too much, okay, and I've really messed that up. All you really have to do is hit Command on a Mac or Control on a window and then hit Z and that will undo that most recent stroke. This is very convenient when you're tracing something because when you are tracing something, you are going to mess up and understand that. You want the image to be as close and as accurate as possible. So again, guys, I'm going to work on his you know, shell. So I will go ahead and click and hover and I'm going to hold down the mouse button. And if you have a tablet, this will make this so much easier. If not, you can do it with a mouse. I am now. So as you see, I have now formed a nice stroke over the shell of the turtle. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, there will be lines that you need to get to be thin that are not as thick as, say, the shell or the outer, you know, the exterior of the turtle. So what I will do again is hit the left brackets and I will decrease the size of my brush. And then I will go here and I will start coloring in this little shell 
here, just like so. And I missed it a little bit, and if you do that, again, you can hit Command or Control Z, and that will undo that for you now. So again, as I have already stated, you want to try to get this as close and as accurate as you possibly can. So now that's a pretty good stroke there. And as you see, as I'm doing this, I'm trying to do it you know, from the front to the back because you don't want to start doing something up at the front of the image and then go start on the back of the image. You want to start to the left and go to the right, or vice versa. You can do top to bottom, bottom to top. It really does not matter. Now, I am not going to trace this whole image here because I have already done that over on this uh, project here. So once you're done tracing an image, what I normally do is I take the original image and I either delete it or I move it above or beside the image that I have traced and see how accurate I am. Now as you see with the eye here, I, I didn't really trace the eye, I just went over and grabbed the circle tool, put a circle, filled it with black, and then erased a little bit there to show the kind of reflection in his eye. That kind of stuff can be done later in post once you're you know editing and shading and coloring the image uh, with the live paint bucket tool. So that is how you trace the image. Now, I'm going to give you one tip that that I wish I would have known when I first started tracing something within Illustrator. If you open up your layers panel by going to window and then making sure layers is checked there. So make sure you go to window and then go to layers. And I'm going to bring my layers panel right up here. I did not do it here specifically because I wanted to show you why. All of this, all of my strokes are under one layer. So that means if I want to edit one specific stroke, I cannot do that. I have to go in and, and dissemble the strokes in order to individually edit them. I would recommend when you're painting and stroking the shell of the turtle, in my, in my case, you want to have that to be on a layer in itself because you can go in and move it and edit it and erase things on it, and you can edit it completely outside of the head, in my case, or the feet of the turtle. So that makes things a lot easier. Also, what you want to do is put the original copy image that you are tracing on a new layer. And then once you start tracing, you want to trace that on a second layer. So when you're inserting an image to trace, add it to the layer, which will be the original layer one, and then go down here to where you see the create new layer option in the layers panel, create a new layer, and then make sure that layer is selected, and then you start tracing your object. That way, when you're ready, you can hide the original layer, and that'll take away that original image that you're tracing and just leave you with what you have just traced. So this is an easy way to trace images within Adobe Illustrator using the blob brush tool. Now, again, there are other ways of doing it. Using the pen tool, using the paintbrush tool, using the pencil tool. I understand that. But this is a simple and easy way to trace images and get them to look really good if you really master the art of changing the brush size and making the strokes a little different here and there. It will really add to your images. So guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please help me by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. If by any chance you have any other questions about how to do this, put them in the comment box below. I'll have a link to our forums in the description box below. You can go to those for a quick response from all of our viewers, and I will see you guys next time.